Da, 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 da. Y you, you are live. That's a side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. <laughs> and there it goes. Woo-hoo! Hey! There we go. Um, uh, excellent. Thank you so much. You could be doing anything else um, this evening and you decided to either join with us in the jam um, this evening or uh, you decided to watch us on Facebook Live. Uh, and for that, we are in our debt as well as. It's Memorial Day weekend in the United States, and we honor um, those who have uh, served our country by serving you with some good old times, uh, good old fashioned online improv. So now that we got everything going on, let's uh, kick it this way, and let's do a little bit of a thing where we introduce the stuff. It is 6.08 right now. We're gonna beat five minutes. Here we go. I told myself five minutes. Ah, it's not working. Here we go. We've sorted you out every time you come in. You get assigned musical or non-musical. Actually, no, you're supposed to tell us and we will sign you. So that's what we're doing right now. We are doing the montage, which is all the scenes may or may not be real related, but you'll see scenes anyways. Uh, we run the montage using sweeps and tagouts, tagouts. You just say the person, his name and say tagout, they leave. Sweeps, uh, instead of me describing it, why? I'll just show me in three, two, one. This is how we do a sweep. Sweep. Look at all these people doing the sweep, making a very obvious motion. Oh. Okay, we're being doubly retarded. Wait, what happened? I'm so confused. I hey, accidentally hey, hit a sh- through. Push through. I accidentally hit a shortcut. Keep going. Time. Ah, speaking of time, you'll get about two minute warning. It's not literally two minutes, but we're gonna have someone on time on a, on a phone telling you where it's almost done. In that case. Wrap it up because we got things to do. Uh, meet your audio if you're in the audience. Sorry, meet your video uh, audience as well. But if you are um, performing, then keep your audio on because you can laugh at yourself. That's a thing. Uh, you may get muted for various sound things like coughing or bodily functions or I don't know. Uh, if you get muted, uh, just let us know if you've been muted by accident. We'll fix it. So um, hide those non view participants so you look like this. Look at these beautiful people doing a thing. Yeah, gallery view is the best way to view it, and we're going to be showing it to you on Facebook like this. We are streaming on Facebook, so please, please, for the love of God, share the video around. Uh, we did intentionally not share the community groups anymore, so please do that for us and be representative of what inner city is. Speaking of which, um, we are a community. We want to uh, respect that there are some sensitive topics, so be careful with these. Then ban topics. Do not do these. All right, sensitive topics include political, COVID-19, we've heard it so much already, religion, spirituality, blue humor. Um, blue humor, just be careful with that one, but that's not the same thing I'm doing. Uh, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. Now, these are examples. This is not an exhaustive list, so anything we deem sensitive, we'll just be like, hmm, I don't know, eyebrow? But these ones, are, we'll tell you, yeah, please don't do these because uh, we don't want to infringe on people's uh, safety and well-being. So, banned topics, like flashing each other, like, uh, lift things up the shirt, use your improv clothes, please. Rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, sexism, other isms, mental illness, anything that basically makes a person's identity the butt of the joke. Again, these are examples, not an exhaustive list. All right. Uh, time out. Basically, if there is something that goes on, um, if you are in the Zoom room or if you see something on Facebook that is that basically gives the impression uh, watching or participating in this is keeping me from participating safely. Um, or if it's hurting me in some kind of way, um, please say time out. Uh, this fully, it's our jam deadline, so let's move on to the next scene. We'll just honor it and move on. We don't have to uh, don too much on it. Uh, speaking of which, we have a wonderful number of volunteers. You can reach out to myself or uh, Laura Zara, who is our tech. Anybody who is a co-host, you can let them know. We will do the time out for you. Again, we're trying to make this a safe space. Uh, tips for improv on Zoom. One person speaking at time. I am talking. Do not talk over me unless you are the one talking. I will not talk over you. Uh, safe web. Treat others with respect. Don't be rude. Uh, use the group chat for smiles, not trials. 
Uh, please use your actual face, even if you're going to do puppets. Uh, it's easier to communicate on Zoom when you see your face, so use it. Uh, Self-manage your playing time. Look out for your teammates. If you're playing a lot, maybe wait. If you're not playing, um, play. If you see someone who's not playing, uh, help them out and call them on, on stage. Uh, everyone's got a stage fright, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, when you're improvising music, don't worry about the lag. Uh, your play carries you a lot better. Uh, it probably is more important than music anyways. And our MDs are highly qualified to support you. Uh, speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Michael Olivier, who is our MD for the night. We want to have you, baby. Show some love for Michael, who will be accompanying us this evening. Yep. Uh, when timer's called, get up there. It's the last scene. Have fun. Let in the mood. Um, because it's improv. We're not doing this to torture ourselves. We're here to have fun. Please stick around to the end. We have a group game. We have. We will tell you the two for next week. Uh, some feedback, networking, some light mingling. It's, please spread the word. Um, we're mostly word of mouth at this point. So um, if you're uh, if you know people who benefit from joining the improv community, then join the community. Speaking of the community, ladies and gentlemen, our team for the evening is our own uh, house team, Unicorn Kingdom. We're almost a year and a half. Uh, that's where we're designing us for jams and such and scene. Okay, I think I've be I think I finished within five minutes. Is that right? Nobody timed it. That's yes. what Yay. 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 No, without further ado, um, and I probably should have done this. No, my screen, my beautiful screen, it's destroyed. But, you know, but it's not destroyed. Let's just jump right into the first team, shall we? Um, coming to the stage. Is this right? Is this right? Our host for the evening is for team one, Angel from Sevilla, Spain. Uh, Nick, cough, cough, Nick. Yes, Nick. Nick. Uh... I am subbing for Angel right now uh, because she is not here. Uh, so great. Welcome to the screen. Our first team, uh, Alex Lee from La Cañada, California, which is French for the Canada. Uh, Kevin Wilcox from New York. Uh, Susan from Pennsylvania. David S. from his very own living room somewhere in the world. And Greg the Whale from Berkeley, California. Give it up for Team One. And your time cover, Michael W. Uh, That's what I'm wrong. It looks like it's Don. Don is your timekeeper. That's correct. Somebody on the chat was asking for a uh, a polite conversation topic. What is an impolite conversation topic? But still would be acceptable to, as a suggestion. A spitting. Marriage status. Yeah, okay, Michael. Marriage status. Marriage status. Understood. Marriage status. Thank you. All right. So, 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 how come you're not married yet? What makes What makes you think I'm not married? What was I? Oh. Is it the lack of is it the lack of ring? Is that? Wait, did this happen last weekend or something? I mean, you don't. I mean, you don't have a ring on. I mean, I just kind of assumed. No, I um, no, I'm not married. I was. It was, it was sort of a joke. I say it because uh, like, how did you oh, know? Because because I because so obvious. I don't have a ring on. You just give off. You just give off that non non married uh, vibe, Dio. I would like to know more. Because I feel like maybe it's uh, not good to get off this bike. Uh, it's, it's the shirt. <laughs> it's, it's, wear that a lot, shirt a lot. It's the. It's not. I see. It's not the shirt. It's the that I wear it every single day. That's the. It's well. It's both. Oh, what's wrong with the color or the design? It's, it, it, I mean, it's tot. I mean, I think it's just tot. I mean, it's it's just totally f totally fine. I mean, you probably want to give off a hey, not married vibe because you know, you're telling people that you're available. But that's not what I want to do. I want people to oh. think that I'm not available. I want to give off the vibe that I am married, so that I can live in peace. That you wait. That you can what? I can live in peace without live people. Like my mother, where are the grandchildren? Uh, I don't think she you thought need... I was married. She thought that that was on its way. Then she would be like, 
things are cool we could talk about painting i got an alex <laughs> so dear i see from your shirt that you've gotten married I... i'm very upset that you didn't <laughs> tell me your mother <laughs> And I just have one question. What is? What? Mom? Now that you're married, how many months before I have a grandchild? Well, not eight. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, unless it, you know, I, I, but it wasn't, you know. I know, I know, and no. So then it'll be nine. Yeah. I'll have a child of what yeah, nine, ten Kevin. months. So, um, Greg, uh, we were working together about ten months, and. <laughs> I was never really interested in you. I know you were single, but um, now that shirt, you got married? Now that you're married, <coughs> sort of forbidden fruit. And I sort of uh, like that. There's no way to win. I have to. Great shirt. I it's Totally married shirt. Oh, man. I... Dude, um, you want to go in the copy room? This might surprise you. Um, but I do not. I mean, you're not, I see you're already hiding the ring. So it looks like you're ready to mingle. So I didn't want, this is, so I have a, this is an awkward, I don't like to be with other people. And I, okay. this person that I found that I'm totally married to absolutely is not the case that this is a fake person. Okay. Met. You didn't, okay. It allows me to, like them, I can channel everything with them and because okay, honestly it's not you it's me it's, it's it's quite all right i mean i'm i'm propositioning somebody at work how, un how inappropriate I'm, I, I'm, I'm flattered so, i'm flattered i want to put myself out there I've... hi dear you didn't get home for um dinner darling i i tried though that was on my priority list Sure. Well, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we both like to go and look at the octopuses at the aquarium. We do both like to do that. Let's go. I got the car keys ready. Okay. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Big date night. Um, how many date nights per week is like wife uh yes i like to look at the octopuses and the seahorses i was looking for like a number of times per week how's 20 sound darling uh, extraordinarily acceptable and something i agreed to hang on greg Honey, as your best friend, I can't tell you. I'm concerned about uh, you getting Greg. I don't think he's really into you for the right reason. Um, we are married. I know, I know, but I don't think he's married to you for the right reasons. I think he's just married to you so he can tell other people to leave him alone. You don't even live together except for three times a month. That's all that you guys agreed to. Well, let me tell you something. It's working out beautifully. Uh, really? Yes. I don't have to yell at him for picking up his clothes, and he doesn't have to yell at me for disturbing the bathroom. But really, it's, it, you, there's there's something in it for you as well. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't realize. I thought honestly, well, I you. well, you know, I'm not a real soft woman. I'm a different kind of woman. I mean, I know you like to wear pink all the time and put bath bombs in your bath, but that's just not me. I like to cut up dead fish. You, you always did. It was, it was so, it, it was disgusting. But, but, but I love you. You're my best friend. I, 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 you are what you are. Every time we go fishing, who's the one that cleans them? Me. Well, you always do. I, much too, too, 
put him out to do to do anything like that. But if if you're, I'm... if you're saying that Greg is good enough for you, then he's good enough for me. Isn't he? It's just fine. Let's go around the corner and get some coffee. Sweet and sweet. Well, Daryl, someone's looking awfully cleaned this morning. Yeah, so 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 I cl- so I cleaned myself. Why is it suddenly a big deal? Yeah, you've been seeing you hu- you've been hanging out with humans, haven't you? <clears throat> oh. Don't like Yes, us. I am, and no. I and I'm not ashamed of it. No. How not? I'm not doing it. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Hate- I I I, I, I would rather. I would rather die than take food from the humans. What? Why they love? They love us. That's why I've been hanging out with them. And we love you when you're about to die from food not having. Yeah. Well, we'll. Oh. We'll... So, humans back. Yeah. Look at him. I like to entertain <clears throat> it. Oh, no! Wow. Ah! It's loud. I suck. See, he was just trying to pet you. What's there not to love about that? They want to give us affection. I, I... I hope, hope maybe this new one will, uh, this new female will perk these three guys up. Oh, look! Do you speak fish? <laughs> Hello? Hello! Hello! Hello. You just threw me into your tank! Yes! How are you all doing today? Same. What do they feed us in here? Food. In flake form. In flake form? That's my favorite kind! That one doesn't eat it. He's going to mm-hmm. die. Yeah. I, I... I think you're right, Whale. He's gonna Dead die. Dead fish floating at the top. <gasps> Dead fish floating at the top. Oh, no! Hugo! That was short-lived. Yeah. See that? See that could be you if you're not if you're not eating. Come on, o- open your mouth. Let me regurgitate into your mouth. Do it. We're... Yeah. No, you know what? I'd rather just stay with us. Swim for the surface. I'm I'm oh. gonna, I'm going to make a break for it. Go. I'm making a break for Wait. it. Wait, you want to, where are you going to go? 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 There's there's nowhere for you to go. Please, I mean, we're in. Please, a... please. <laughs> All right, let's take uh, Kevin to uh, Goldfish Heaven. Welcome, Kevin. Welcome. Well, I almost made it to the sea. Almost, almost. Yes, that, that is true. But you lived a full life. I believe you lived two weeks after they pulled you from that... Uh, uh, from that circus, uh, sideshow attraction, they were said they were giving him out. Well, you know, and before that, you know, there were the four years I spent at, you know, Fish College, and... Of course. I mean, Fish yeah. College always leads to that in- inevitable where you're caught and sold off in a, in a carnival. 
It, but, yeah, I mean, you, you, I, you I said I wasn't going to make that my major. I yeah. wanted to make, you know... You know, you know the answer, though. Ichthyarchaeology, but... That's a good word. You know, I, it's what I still wound up doing. You know the good answer. We're here in the afterlife, after it's, all. What is the answer for that old goldfish must know? You know it. You have to know it. Oh, I knew it a moment ago. Sweep, call back Alex. <laughs> Did you see what they were doing at the aquarium? They, they did not have enough people to clean the tanks. So they sent, they sent snorkelers in there. They couldn't clean the tanks. They didn't have any air on their backs. And then the sharks started circling. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I saw that. But you know what? I'm not the kind of person to complain after all. It wasn't me in there. What if one of the sharks bit one of the snorkelers because they weren't descending down to clean the screen of the tank. Oh, good for the shark, you know. E you know, just, you know, let the shark be the shark, okay? Shouldn't you know judge, what? You shouldn't judge a shark. You're so right, because the last time they bought sharks, they jumped out of the tank and died. So- you know, there are, are we out there in shark heaven? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess so. But what uh, about uh, you? Well, I I got back from cleaning the sharks. I'm feeling like there's a bit of me missing though. I don't know. Uh, oh. Um I think that we will call the ambulance right now and there it's coming. And what part of you do you think is missing? Um I'm also missing something. I'm not sure where it went. I don't know. Okay. It, it's like Let me I get go it. to Personnel. scratch my face and it's just like my... Let me get a tourniquet. Let me get a tourniquet. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Now I got something. Did you get it? Oh. Okay. Oh, hey. Sorry, guys. I was a little hungry. Oh, it's a dolphin. You can you can speak. We were gonna give oh. you a free pass because you're like an animal and you can't think for yourself. Did you say yeah, you uh, deliberately ate? These I'm just kind of shy. People? Sorry. He is the best shark, and he just can't see very well sometimes. So you're yeah, saying you didn't well. see them. You they're, accidentally. They're bit sighted. You bit I don't. Have, I can't fault you for doing what you do. I can't fault you for being you. I'm just an you know, ambulance oh, person, but I you. feel like the police are going to have a different opinion of this matter, uh, mm. Shark. Um, well, I threw, I yeah. threw some oh, large. There's Kevin's head. Guppies. I threw some yeah. large I mean, guppies in, but I he must have missed. Let's to this patient. Uh, okay. Kevin's head. Let's just. We're. <laughs> it's, it's gone. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Baby. Is that a board in the U.S. Thank you. Give it up for T. Lee. Yay! Yay! Oh, okay. Michael's gone. Um, so uh, that was Team One of the Inner. Yeah. Hey, Michael, I got a question for you. Yes, Fastino. Um, what is a thing you put on your body and rhymes with lurch. <laughs> I'm just here uh, as the backup. Birch. Michael. Don't mind me. Bark. All right. We got Burst, Michael Warkowski. What do you got? I forgot the question. What? What's the thing I put on by that rhymes with birch? Uh, much? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Michael Warkowski is the better Michael. Woo! No, we did. Um, that's terrible. Probably shouldn't have done that. Anyways, uh, we do have work. This is a shirt. Someone. This is a mug. I'm not allowed to turn it over, but we have all these things. Um, it is a little bit on the expensive side, so I apologize for it because it is done through a third-party vendor, and I no one really makes any money off of. I actually make about two cents. 
No, I actually, I think I lose two sets every time something is ordered. And the whole point of it is that we've been on online improv for over a year now. And this is just a way that if you want to keep on momentum and be part of the community, um, then you have a physical thing to remind you that online improv was a thing. Um, I'll say, I haven't really said this before, but if you're interested in any of the merch, but you're having trouble and looking to find something, uh, please let me know personally and we'll help you secure something for you. Um, again, it's mostly just for, uh, it is branding, but it's also, again, we are, we are in this together and it's a, it's a physical reminder. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and move on to our first musical improv team of the evening. And let's remind again, our MD for the evening is Michael Olivier from the Sierra Nevada. Yes, it's California. Very, very nice. And the person who's introducing our teams for this evening is Michael Workowski from San Diego, California. Hey, thank you, Faustina. Oh, oh, you know. And now for team two, the first, first musical team of the night. Right, we have Nick Condon from Portland, Oregon. Dawn Robertson. Corpus Christi, Texas, Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma, Danelle Maher from Hayward, California, Lindsay Gonzalez from Madrid, Spain, and Laura Todd from Toronto, Ontario. This is your team, too. Wish them luck. Oh, and um, uh, Alex Lee is your timer. Awesome. We're going to do some musical improv. Uh, what is a song lyric that is not the title of a song? He's got radioactive blood, which I he's think got, I've given before. He's got radioactive blood. Um, and I also see, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Uh, great. Uh, we'll take both of those. And we are team two. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got you back. Dear God, Doctor. <laughs> yes, this Doctor. This lab rat. It's radioactive. I was afraid that would happen. I've been running some tests without telling you about said tests. I was wondering what was going on with the logbooks. I've been keeping a separate set of logbooks. Here they are. But if the university finds about this, we'll lose our funding. But we need to take this chance. I'm on the brink of a discovery that could change mankind for generations to come. But at what cost, Doctor? At what cost? Good question. I have to ask myself what's wrong with you if you're doing these things. I have to ask myself what's wrong with me if I'm not understanding. Listen, you and I have spent too much time investing in this work. If we don't make a big discovery, then we're just a couple of jerks. So much time with lab rats, we are our own experiment. If we don't rearrange the budget, we might as well be spent. The time to act now. The time to act is now. Time to act. It's time to act. To act, I guess I should check your facts. Sometimes. Oh, my God! Oh, my Lord! Oh, my word! Oh, my golly, gosh, gosh, gone damn. That's 
right. I have to ask myself what's wrong with you if these are your answers here. I have to ask myself what's wrong with you and it's the truth I fear. The time to act is now. The time to act is now. You and I will make big discoveries somehow. Co-authorship? Thank you. And all I have to do is ignore the ethics committee. Ethics always get in the way. The time to act is now. Join me in this, what do you say? Yes, I say yes now. Good. Tag out everyone, keep the crazy scientist. <laughs> keep Nick. We now take you to the crazy scientist home where he goes and speaks to his wife. Honey, honey. Yes, dear. The, ch the child, our daughter, she's dying. Ah. She's dying so much. And I really hope that that cure that you've been working on is, is coming through some breakthroughs, right? Because you've, you've been spending so much time at Fine. My darling, yes, I'm so very close to a breakthrough. And I wouldn't have to make the sacrifices I've made if it weren't for our daughter. Because, Daddy, if you, Daddy. if you don't work on a cure, she's woken up from her nap. If you don't work on a cure, she's going to die. And we really need her. We really need her to be alive. She is our generation. She's our progeny to go forward. If not, we're going to have no genetic material to go forward. That is a very clinical reason to keep our child alive. Absolutely. The name of Gefindefelt needs to be known. Listen. Our daughter wrestles in her sleep. She dreams of futures yet be sung. Let us listen. She looks like she's fading. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. I think I'm dying. I think I'm radioactive. Oh, Daddy. I think I'm dying. Mommy, Daddy. Save me. I see some octopi on the wall. I don't think that's right, no. I don't think that's right. My daughter, there's no need to worry because your father is going to find a cure in a hurry. You've got to save her. She is the only one we've got. Little baby, don't worry now. We're gonna be right here. We'll find a cure somehow. You got to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, you're plushy. Know that, and I love you. Hold on, we'll reach out. Hold on, just hold out. Hold on. Honey, I don't think she's got a lot of time. 
Oh, you really gotta find that cure. I know. We will. Oh, Whatever God. it takes. For the name of Gefendefilsch to go forward. It's important. Sweet. How did we end up in this cage? <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty cool in here. <laughs> it, it, it is, but I'm I'm really confused. Uh, what are they going to do with us? Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Amazing. Can you do that again? Do that again. <laughs> ah. Whoa. I didn't Try know. Try it. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't. Let me try one more time. Boop! Are we getting different experiences? I don't know, but mine's pretty good. <laughs> well, I like yours, but mine's a little... Boop! Oh, it's sounding better. You gotta push the button, push the button, maybe with your other arm, just push the button. When I tried to push that button, a strange sound came out. I don't know what will happen. Oh my gosh, look out! I've only got one. Hmm. Yeah. Push the button. <laughs> ah! Watch! You're doing it wrong. Gosh, every time we push the button, they give us a treat. I've gained 10 pounds since I've been in here. Push the button and you get to eat. Push the button and you get a treat. And we shall see how we can live in this community. <laughs> They're so good to us in this cage. I love it here. I never want to leave. I'm not going back to the wild. I'm no. becoming, I'm going to become a cage rat. It's the best kind of rat. And such All a... All you gotta do is put...
Just push the button. Push the button. Push that button. Uh. Sweet. Your dad said that the research was going to keep you alive. And that's why I did what I had to do when it came to talking to the Dean. I'm sorry, little sweetheart. I can't promise you a long and healthy life, but I can promise you that you're going to live a few more days at least. A few more days? I don't it's know. Not, the treatment is working. You should have already been dead by now. Your parents would kill me if they found me telling you the truth, but you need to know. This medicine is highly experimental. I, I don't know how to repay you. You're honest. You mustn't. You're a minor. Why would I ask you anything of you? Because You're just a child. I know, but I'm important to you, and that means everything to me. And, and I just love that I can live a few days with all these hallucinations and, and the rest. Hallucinations? Yes. They tell I didn't me know anything about hallucinations. No. They tell me things like what stocks to buy and the rats, they're so smart and they, they sing to me and they give me special codes and I, the octopi, they're real, I tell you, they're real. I, so I think I'm this medicine has put you in touch with an altered reality. By Microsoft. Yes. Uh, sing to us. Share with us the reality that you have seen, yeah. and we will share it with the world. Yeah. Share. Push the button to your soul. What? Push the button, girl, don't you know? Is this child all right? He's perfectly fine. Keep going. Everybody listen to the rats of the world they are. Invest in Amazon. Google. Amazon and Google. My God. Bob Art. They say to buy. They say to buy. Guess what rhymes with um, uh, Barrelson and is a friend from Toronto, Ontario, Canada? <laughs> uh, cheese. No idea. That's okay. No, no, no. Uh, um, we're uh, Laura is going to be um, presenting our uh, sketch for tonight, but um, the sketch that we're about to show is by the uh, by our friend uh, Michael Harrison from Toronto, Ontario. Yeah. Canada. I know. Well, yeah, he's sort of uh, he was Canadian, then he got shipped out. <laughs> so now he's in some someplace in America. Wait, he's not in Toronto anymore? No, he frequents there. <laughs> he's Canadian, but he's now shipped out because of Yuck Yuck. So he's he tours around the city. Uh, he tours around the uh, well, the world in a way, but a lot of America. Anyways, um, before we get uh, before we get started, um, just want uh, as a thing for Michael Harrison, uh, we're gonna show his uh, clip from his YouTube channel. Uh, please look up Michael Harrison at Michael Harrison on YouTube and look up his variety of not only uh, video sketches but as well as his stand-ups 
uh, from around the places where he does stand up. So let's go yeah. ahead. He also does live shows too. So yes. look up Michael Harrison's live shows. Uh, I don't think uh, we not can getting hear. audio. It'll happen. Um, while we're getting the audio fixed, um, also, I'm going to put it in this chat right here. What is that per se? It's a Venmo. Please share uh, Please share around. Um, Mike, this is Michael Olivier's uh, Venmo account. Please tip him uh, grandly uh, for playing this evening's uh, musical improvs happening, as well as underscore. Show him some love and send that Venmo away. Like, what's like ready for that sketch? Hey, Terry. New shirt. Looks good. Oh, really? <laughs> you mean this little ditty, huh? <laughs> what do you mean this? You're clearly being flirtatious. <laughs> Hot as lava. Excuse me? Oh, don't worry. This happens all the time. You can't control yourself. You know what? I'm gonna throw you a bone. How about you email me your phone number and maybe I'll get back to you. <laughs> Good things happen to those who wait. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God, no. <sighs> hey, Terry, do you know how to fix this photocopier? Oh, oh, oh damn. The photocopier? <clears throat> yeah, the photocopier. You don't have to lie to me. I've seen this little scenario before. I go near the photocopier, and then you push me on top and ride me. Well, that makes copies of my butt. <clears throat> Classic. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I really just need these copies. Listen, Jess, let's cut the BS. You want the D, and you want it from me. And I don't blame you, but we shouldn't. You're married with kids, and I'm Just let it go. <laughs> it's okay. Rejection's hard, I heard. Stay strong. Hey, Terry. Uh, thanks for coming in. Let's just get into it. So your performance has been abysmal, <laughs> and you're getting the weirdest complaints from your coworkers. Apparently, you've been reverse me tooing everyone. I don't know what this means but I'm gonna have to terminate your employment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what are you doing? We don't have to play this game. I get it. You're trying to fire me because you can't have me. Have you? No, I'm straight. <sighs> Being straight doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know, a dog humped my leg. And guess what? I'm not even a dog. <laughs> I transcend everything. <laughs> what does that even mean? <sighs> You're worried about your feelings. Just accept them. I won't tell anyone. Okay, listen. You're rehired. Can you teach me your ways? Oh, buddy. Buckle up. Please support Michael Harrison comedian on Instagram and at Michael Harrison on Twitter. Hooray! That's my friend, not yours. That's mine. Oh, I thought. Well, yeah, he's your friend. I guess he's not my friend. <laughs> we can all be friends, right? Um, speaking of friends, um, that's one of the sketches. Uh, um, the last month or so, we've been uh, featuring sketches from Ontario, Canada. Uh, they have a really awesome group, Toronto Sketch Comedy. Uh, which we were harvesting sketches for. Um, if you have a video sketch of a, um, that you and associates have produced, or if you know someone who is producing the video sketches that would like the exposure, um, please send them our way, um, intercityimprov at gmail.com, or message us, uh, one of the volunteers, or myself, or our Facebook. There's so many outlets to let us know, and we love to showcase um, talents for you, since we have this platform, people following it. Speaking of following things, um, I'm going to be introducing 
the next team, which is non-musical team two, which is actually team 300 books. And I'm going to be playing in this set. Before we do that, I like to, he's not my friend, Adam, he's everybody's friend. <laughs> if you are a human, then humans are friends with other humans and humans and humans, humans. Uh, before uh, Speaking of this wonderful humans, going to be uh, timing this up. Give it up for Brian Sebi uh, from Wheaton, Illinois, our timer for team three. And I'm going to do the announcing of the team like this. And Ooh, it's my like fashion is... music. Love it. Saturday night! No, it's Sunday night. And I forgot what we're doing. All right, from San Bruno, California, this is Michael J. Ostraskas. Another Michael play. Michael Murkowski from San Diego, California. From Tucson, Arizona, which is basically California, Cassie Alfred. Effort. Another person from California, Laura Zorro. Someone who's not from the. Let's go. Uh, Adam Groner from New York City, New York. And again, you're Australian. My name is Foss Taylor. I'm also playing on this team. On the keys, Michael Olivier. Let's go or get started with the wave. <laughs> Wee! We're going to keep doing this until he stops. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked my wrist and there's no watch on it. Uh, what's, the thing that, what's the thing that you forget all the time, but it's actually there to begin with? What's the thing that you typically forget to have, but it's actually there with you all the time? Your conscience. My glasses. <laughs> glasses. I heard conscience. Uh, I heard conscience. I had conscience. Yeah, I heard I conscience, to conscience. glasses. But well, most of us yeah. are wearing glasses. I get, let's let's split this one. Glasses and conscious. Not uh, me. <laughs> I want to get some glasses. You don't need to gloat at them. Here we go. <laughs> Something feels a little off, but I can't I can't put my finger on it. You know what? Hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Do you know what I forgot? I know what you forgot. What did I forget? You promised. You promised to go get my glasses for me. I can't see anything now. You didn't do it, did you? Oh, um, if you give me an hour, we can say I didn't not do it. I forgot. I forgot. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. That's okay. Actually, to be honest, I kind of feel like when I look in the mirror, I look so much more attractive without glasses. Oh, really? Hey, guys, I'm your waiter tonight. Here's your menus, which you'll need to be able to see in order to read them and order. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Ma'am, have fun reading. My name's Bucky. I'll be in the corner crying. Thank, thank you, Bucky. Oh, wow. I, Bucky's got issues. I think he was mocking me. Do you think he was mocking me? <laughs> he really leaned into that reading, didn't he? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the kids menu. Oh. Uh, uh, wow. Okay. Could you just read it for me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Actually, you have one. I don't need to give it to you. Uh, Hi guys. Um, reading for other people isn't allowed. We prefer our clientele to be literate. Oh, oh I, no no no. Oh, I'm sorry. Bucky, she just doesn't have her glasses. It's completely my fault. She knows how to read. She cannot read without glasses. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did not know that you had that rule here. I wouldn't have. I would not have asked him to read for me. Can, can you just tell me what's on the menu? What's the special for today? Okay. The special for today is your boyfriend shouldn't have forgotten your glasses at home. Pow! 
<laughs> just kidding. Sweet. It's spaghetti with sliced hot dogs. Oh, sweet. Get it slapped. Well, I'm trying to decide if I should, like, like I want to ask this girl out, and I'm trying, trying to decide if I should take off my glasses here. Let me know something. Am I more attractive with the glasses off? Sorry, I'm trying to turn off my television, and I broke my the remote, so I can't really hear you. Can you say that one more time, please? Uh. I'm trying to ask out this girl at school, and I'm trying to figure out. And I'm trying to figure out: Am I more attractive with or without the glasses? Um, I am so sorry. I think part of it is like because there's not much of a difference. I'm being easily distracted by my TV that's not turning off right now. Some best friend you are, honestly. I mean, how am I supposed to? Uh, uh, uh... Listen, I come to you with these problems, and you talk about somebody else's TV. It's How does that supposed to make me feel? First of all, it's my TV and I'm offended. Second of all, would you rather have me just lie to you and just be like, and like kind of fluff you up in confidence? Like, oh, you're like the most beautiful man alive. Or like, come on, Fabio's got This is not giving an opinion at all. Yes. I like, gave you my opinion. It's like, it, I can't really, like the fact that it's on and off, that it doesn't phase me. Like there's like a not click. It's like, I don't know. Like, like your glasses are an extension of your eyebrows. What? You, you ever heard that before? Like a good a good glasses just kind of warms their eyebrows slightly. No, I haven't. Just put, put your glasses on. I swear, to, I swear to God, you walk down the street and so if you ask someone, "Am I wearing glasses?" They'll look at you and be like, "I can't tell the difference." My goodness, I'm, I'm, this changes I'm everything. I don't know. Maybe this is some like Marvel. Um, intro story or something based off of the feelings I'm feeling right now. Now take them off. You can't tell the difference. I mean, that's kind of disappointing, but okay. I I appreciate your feedback. I mean, God, I was really I was really banking on the glasses thing to make the difference on this. So I'll be honest. Check out Fostino. Oh my! When you Put those glasses on, you became ten times more beautiful. Wow, you're a beautiful man. Oh, really? Wow. I mean, God, I'm not used to being here. I'm not used to being called beautiful, but I'll take it. Yes, yeah, I mean, uh, you you could be a model, a, an oh, eyebrow wow. model, as a matter of fact. You are? Really? Yeah, I mean, well, you could be an eyebrow model. I could be an eyebrow model. Wow. Yeah. I mean, God, what do we sell? Is it just I'm a glasses? Is it uh, well, what? You sell everything. You sell pants, you sell shirts. My, my brother's an eyebrow model, so I happen to know a lot about it. Um, Great. Wow, that's... Uh, tag out Cassie, bring in two more people to be eyebrow judges. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what the hell my sister told you, but... You know, I don't, uh, I don't see the row in your brow. Yeah, the, the people's eyebrow, that's so 2000. You know, the rock's basically bald now. <laughs> your eyebrows need more character. Uh, have you ever considered a, a, a tragic accident of some sort? Jasper's. Jasper's right. Your eyebrows got no pizzazz. A scar. Ooh, yeah. A scar. I have a knife in my pocket. Oh, really? Get that out. Yeah. Just, let me. You know. Let me just. You want the you want the Harry Potter or you want something? Surprise special? me. Well. Oh God! It's kind of bleeding. Okay. Does it look good? Does it look good? Oh That's god, good. it's pooling. Shh, shh. Oh god, it's pooling. Oh. Wait, Adam oh. and Michael. Oh, oh, sorry, there's two Michaels. Bring the one with the scars back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw you across the room and you, you're amazing. You, you look different from everybody else. I, I'm just really attracted to you. 
Oh my god, he's got a lightning bolt on his forehead! <gasps> Is that a lightning bolt on your forehead? I heard a voice saying that! Uh... Yes, yes it is. Oh, oh my god, god it's, it's Harry, Harry Potter. Potter! It's Harry Potter! I'm not Harry Potter! God, I'm gonna get so sued over this, aren't I? Uh, it doesn't matter. You have the lightning scar. You're you're my hero. Could, could you autograph my hand? Uh, sure. I got Laura. Uh, you proved me wrong. Like, I thought the glasses would make a difference, but man, you would make... You have been killing it as a Daniel Radcliffe impersonator. I know. It's just, I mean, God knows I would have preferred to go with, like, Brad Pitt impersonator or something. But, but no. Do you know what? I will take Daniel Radcliffe. I'll take Daniel Radcliffe. Ding dong. Oh, hello. Hi. I am famous actor Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> and I heard you oh, I was so worried you would be me. Dan the accounted Daniel Radcliffe from Cleveland, Ohio. So, yeah, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, you know, and as an accountant, I know what a good name and having a lightning bolt scarred into your head is worth. Look, we... man, I, I, call, I call this accountant in because I, I lost a bet with myself and you're going places so we're going to have this other Daniel Radcliffe handle your taxes for you. Yeah, I know all about taxes and money and numbers and adding and subtracting and division. Yeah, that's not very convincing. What the hell is this? Ah, oh, shoot. I'll tell you, I'm going to take my mask off. It's me, the real Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> and I'm trying a terrible monotone American accent. Did I fool you guys? Well, it is a terrible accent, but yes. Yes! Awesome, because it's me, Hollywood actor Daniel Radcliffe. Check out and Michael. Is this and some new bit? Check out Michael and Pastino. Oh, you. You are, you are the second beautiful man I've seen this week. I, I, I would suggest to wear some glasses though. That's all. I'm just saying, you, Mr. Glasses. Radcliffe. Glasses, sure yeah. thing. Oh, we are even more. I knew that they would help you. You would make an amazing eyebrow model. Just saying. Wow, just saying. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wait. When I put these glasses on, my girlfriend said, ah, get out of the house. You look like a serial killer that uses fingers oh. for glasses. But oh. you say otherwise, so yeah, I'm just you know, going to uh, look like this. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, I, I happen to have um, a hat you can borrow, too. My goodness. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, I'm boy. Just gonna, just on top of your head. Yeah, this is a nice little on top of your head. I'll just kind of move it for you i i should um, let you know i'm 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 a movie producer and um you would be great i believe you'd be great in my next movie wow i'm going to go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet and think about this you're telling me you discovered daniel radcliffe <laughs> i have discovered him he's been disappeared for well, you know, you know how actors like disappear for a while. He's been out acting like an accountant in Ohio, and I rediscovered him. That's incredible. And I rediscovered Frankie Muniz, and nobody cared. Blah. Oh, look, y'all care about Frankie. Phil, we don't need a Spy Kids four. You have any idea what the kids are there missing? You know what? Uh, I know a uh, Daniel uh, Radcliffe. Uh, uh, tag out Cassie and um, uh, Michael. So they didn't go for Spy Kids 4, did they? They didn't. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm, I really I'm, needed this, Stino. Yeah, look, I'm sorry that your your per your band and your flannels aren't working out for you, but look, uh, have you ever considered taking off the glasses? 
No, I didn't. Why? My God! What a handsome man! <laughs> and My look God, Frankie Muniz without man. glasses is apparently the, the most beautiful man on earth. Glasses, the most beautiful man on earth. Oh, that's ironic. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm gonna make. Hey, we got a problem. So, uh, looks like you both look like. Oh God, you look. Oh. You look like uh, uh, Frankie Muniz and Daniel Radcliffe and the guy from the first scene. And you're getting requested to just cosplay everybody. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. There. Here. Oh my god, he's beautiful! Oh, nope. Yeah, nope. so it's oh god, Daniel Radcliffe, beautiful. Frankie Muniz, Daniel Radcliffe. That's how this works. Oh my god, he's beautiful! So, you're all... Oh gosh. <gasps> Wait a minute. If... Which one of them is the real Daniel Radcliffe? Which one's In got the background, it's me. A toilet shoot flushes. Him. It's me. Shoot uh, him. Sh hey guys, I'm back from the toilet. <laughs> it is me, British actor Daniel Radcliffe. No, from it is Harry I. Potter. Daniel, are you cosplaying as Bono? Yes, <laughs> I am playing Bono in the biopic of the U2 singer, and it'll be called To You. The U2 story. Oh no, I think you'll make a wonderful Daniel Radcliffe. Oh my god, this one's got the lightning bolt! I've got the lightning bolt! The I am Daniel lightning Radcliffe! Lightning bolt! Wow! I can't do this anymore! <gasps> Frankie oh, Muniz! Michael, no! Frankie Muniz! No, no, no. Just an impersonator! Lady, you're gonna have to pick between these four people who you're gonna take out for a sandwich later. You know, it's uh, really hard for me to decide, and this is such a strange date, first date for all you guys to show up here at the same time. I, guess I can take you where the streets have no name. I guess I it's my Oh my gosh, look at the balls, look at that. Like, this is such a hard decision. I. The only, way to solve I it, the only way to solve this is to have a good old-fashioned eyebrow off. I think an eyebrow off would help me, yes. Ready, set, go. Choosing one, I just say sweet. Uh, <laughs> and the planet was destroyed from the eyebrow beauty. <laughs> give me, give, give me. Oh, that was so fun. Thank you, guys. No more. Michael and his wonderful, what it looks to be his shirt, his color. Okay, I'll be honest. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately. I <laughs> saved, finally bought the Java version and I played it for seven hours straight yesterday. So I need a break. Um, speaking of breaks, instead of, um, I think a better break from Minecraft, Minecraft, Mine, my, ich habe Minecraft. Nope, it's not working. Um, why am I hungry? I'm going to share this. Uh, we have things that Inner City would like to share with you. Um, that I think would also satisfy your hunger or improv. Um, so this is what's on the menu. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, we, you know that every Sunday our flagship jam, you know, stay long for improv jam has stuff every Sunday from at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, musical and non-musical sets. You're actually going to hear a musical set um, right after this. So uh, please join us uh, and find out who the headliner is. And again, we're looking for sketches and teams. So if you've jam played the jam before, if you post uh, that type of stuff. Uh, please um, let us know. This is the jam. Uh, Toast and Jam is also a very popular jam. Um, it's you get 45 minutes of long form improv. Um, now, those who have played before used to be like, I think 12 minutes of bass play and five minutes of cool down. And we were like, nah, we'd rather just straight up play. So now it's 15 minutes of bass play and two minutes to like before we just shut the room out on you. Um, so playing for playing's sake, uh, you're getting reps, reps for, um, yeah, it's like, 
was it like 51 minutes and 75 minute jam slot please uh check out toast and jam every 10 a.m pacific um also friendly for people in the eastern hemisphere short form jam this is an announcement we have um the next jam is going to be june 8th um oh my gosh things are opening up back in the world and everyone's getting super busy so we decided to go ahead and uh make the short form jam every second tuesday so please note the times check um right here june 10 july 13th and august 10th are going to be our dates for the upcoming um, short form jam so come play with one of our inner city um hosts and we'll guide you through some short form again june 8th is the next time musical improv jam uh we're currently still on the bi-weekly sunday um schedule so our next jam for this one is going to be june 6th which is next week um i'll be on the piano for this one so please join us um we'll do uh, last time we did about an hour for um long form and short form so no i think we just said no we just the short form um, but yeah, come. This is uh, right now. It's still one of the few musical only jams that we have. Uh, some of them, some of them are all popping up now on the internet. But this is the one that we have in house. So please join us every Sunday, uh, every other Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific for this jam. And I think the TV is on again. Speaking of TV, um, tonight, hey, hang out with me and some other friends from Inner City as we do our Inner City Open Mic, um, which is tomorrow. That bring us right. Yeah, tomorrow's May 31st. Um, you have a special talent besides improv, or you'd like to do more improv, well, come and sign up for a five minute set. Um, we're maximum of 20 people. It's a really chill evening. People are performing stand up, uh, music, poetry readings, uh, maybe cooking or setting things on fire, which um, I have to clean my house because my mom's coming in. So uh, I might be doing another cooking one pretty soon or just making something on the spot. Whatever it is, you have a stage, virtual, a safe environment. Please join us for the open mic. Uh, again, the next one is uh, May 31st, not May 17th, indicated on the top. We're all busy. Y'all cause some slack, right? All right, merch shop. Buy the merch. Uh, do it for um, nostalgia, not because, yeah, we're not making money off of it. Ooh, ah, join the Inner City Improv community. This is a group. Um, we have almost a thousand. No, I think we have a th almost a thousand people now. Uh, on the public group it's not 720 anymore but uh, you can post your own events that you like to promote on this one as well as you can look out for all of our events as well so you can get updated on some of the things um in addition to that one you can also follow us on youtube mm -hmm. on instagram at facebook at inner city improv um for to follow us for more information we need teams and sketches we cannot stress this enough look at these kids they're filming for us aren't they now, this is the same one that we've used for over a year. Um, if you know a guest troop, maybe you've already been a guest troop with Inner City already. Uh, maybe you want to reach out, you want to try something new. Um, also, if you want to try uh, to get your sketch out into a new um, new market, which people are watching, uh, musical directors, jammers, all those sorts, please email us at innercityimprov at gmail.com. Or again, message one of the volunteers or our social medias, and we'd like to um, feature you as well while we're still on an online medium. And bon appetit. Thank you so much for being a part of the inner city improv community. And I'm so glad that the murder fairy uh, didn't creep up on my screen. Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, speaking of murder fairies, this one is the most murderous of fairies. Uh, give it up for Laura from San Francisco, California. Right. Wait, wait. Oh, all right. I'm about to announce team four. And um, on that team, we have Rafi from Tucson, Arizona. Come on up. Eric Failer from Cedar Rapids. Andy Faye from Manila. Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. And Dawn Slobin from New York City. And our timekeeper for today is Nelson Morgan. Good luck, team. Uh, uh this weekend in the U.S. is Memorial Day. What's a pretend holiday that we could celebrate for our sense? International Paper Day. What, what was the other thing I heard someone say? International, International Paper, Paper Day. Day. Paper Day. International Paper Day. All right, let's celebrate International Paper Day. Awesome. Thank you. It's finally here. I've been waiting all year and finally my ways paid off so much 
so much paper. U.S. letter, U.S. legal, A1 through A10. Ho, ho, ho! Merry International Paper Day! It's you! Paper claws! <laughs> That's right, Billy! And I got you your very own envelope! Like paper, but in a folded state! That's right, and you can use it to put in more paper. I, I've already written my letter to you for next year. <gasps> Billy, I'm truly touched. It means something special that there are still children out there celebrating International Paper Day. I put in the envelope that you gave me this year. Maybe next year I'll get two envelopes so I can keep one. Yeah. It's a secret until then. Out of all of the children I see, all three of them, you're always the most enthusiastic. Thank you. When you've got paper, you've got a friend. When you've got paper, got paper, you'll shout hooray, that's what it's like on International Paper Day. Writing letters, writing lists, printing books, and writing more lists. <laughs> it's all you can do with Reading your letters, reading your lists, printing them out, that's kind of it, because when you've got paper, you've got a friend. When you've got paper, they'll be there until the end. But... Don't forget, there's so much more. There's origami. There's crafting galore. Here's Santa. I made this for you. It's a little paper cup that you can drink through. It's delicious. Till next year, Santa. That's paper claws. Paper claws, sorry. <laughs> ah, humbug. There is no paper claws. You understand me? There is no paper claws. Now you get back to work. There will be no breaks for you today because you were making paper for paper claws. Ha! Ah. <laughs> hey, there's no crying in papers. <laughs> oh, you're just going to sit there and cry? Can you cry while you're doing your work? Because if not, you're fired. <laughs> Get back to work! Paper claws! Ha! Why, when I was a kid, we used to believe in paper claws too, but now we know there's no paper claws. Oh! Oh! What is that? A cute dog? Do you have a cute dog? You brought your cute dog to work? Paper claws! Enough of this! Enough of this! You go back to work! Go back to work! 
you go right now. Go back to work. I do oh, my house. Don't think that you should have any dreams about anything having to do with paper or anything but cleaning this office. That's better. Maybe you'll get done by five so you can go home and be with your family. Ha ha ha. Paper thaws, paper thaws, paper thaws, save me from this misery. Ah, ah, humbug. Finish your job. You finish your work. It's okay, Andy. I'm here. Paper glass! <laughs> Paper glass! I am so happy today because I saw you again. You know, there are lots of people who don't believe in you, but I'm not one of them. I think you should show yourself in my work and show yourself there so they will believe you're true and give them lots of papers, 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 Andy, I'm real, but I can only show myself to those who believe like you. Oh. Andy, I'm real, yes, but that's just what the paper power do. Yes, <gasps> that would work. That would work. What yes. kind of paper will I, will I, will I break? Tissue paper. I can travel through tissue paper. A tissue paper. I got it. Paper claws. I'll be back, Andy. See you later, paper claws. Sweep. He is real, I swear. He... I don't know where you learn this crap from, son. Dead. He doesn't exist. You understand me? He doesn't. Prove to me he exists. Here we are. Use logic. Prove to me that paper. Uh, look at he this. didn't exist. What you make? How could I have made this little cup that's been drinking out of? And look, it's got his his mouth print on it. Tell the truth. You put your mouth on it just to show me. Well, I did that too, but he's real. He gave me an envelope and everything. I hate to tell you this, son. Your mother gave you that envelope. 
mom is paper claws but that no, that explains she's all these mom. years um oh, this is so confusing i do try especially with my son because you're going to own the factory and if you don't keep the workers in line they're going to rebel against you that's why you are so against paper claws because she's mom and left to, to bring paper to all the children in the world and not just to our family your mom she left us the big and that's well and good left us to bring paper to all the world your mom she ain't no good you're just mad cause you're on the naughty list that's written on paper it's one of the kind of things you can do. Making lists, checking it twice. Paper Claws knows that you've not been nice. I've been good. Everyone's been bad. You've been I'm good. Your staff. To make everyone sad. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You're just, you're just faking it. Trying to make your way through life, cause you know you're part of it. That's right. You're not a nice guy that you I'm want. I'm good. I'm just misunderstood. Well, I'm going to ask that Eric get up here with us because we need to, to bring paper claws to everyone in the world. If we all believe, he'll come up. You see? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> see? Well. Oh my God. <laughs> I had a dream. I had a dream last night. What was that? That paper. Is good. That's what everyone's been telling you. Everyone, get in here and let's show my dad the real meaning of paper. I don't see hey, paper claws. I see the error in my ways. I'm I'm so sorry. I've treated you so badly. You get a paper. And you get a paper. And you get a paper. And even you. Santa Claus, who's really my wife. Paper, paper, claws, Santa, whoever the heck you are. I'm so glad I could see you again, husband. <laughs> Our family's together. What a wonderful family we have here. So I nice. guess family's the true meaning of paper. And paper. another 365 before we get a chance to celebrate that's right let's make paper day every day every day paper. i know let's make it a, a holiday <gasps> paper holiday everybody will have paper and 
You can come live with us year round. I, I don't need to live in the North Paper. <laughs> oh, but we can bring Mom. You're not remarried or anything like that, are you? No. And I think I love this is you. Just telling us that we're done. That we're done. We're done. That's the moral. Happy Paper Day, Happy everybody. Happy Paper Day, because our set is done. God bless us, everyone. Hooray! Happy Paper Day. something or are you happy to see me? Uh, don't mind that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the show where I forgot what we do here. No, I didn't. It's because you're this part of the show. Are we part of the show? Am I a part of the show? Is Michael part of the show? Michael is part of the show. Make sure you uh, drop some money into that Venmo for him playing around this evening. Hooray! 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 Yeah, it's not, again, this is the inner city improv community. It's not just, uh, I mean, there's a few people running stuff, but really the people who are also attending and spreading the word are also part of the community. So we offer it up this time for everybody. Uh, if you have something like a show, or workshop, even an in-person thing. So now, because we have the far reach, if you'd like to promote anything, now is the time. All you have to do is uh, turn on your camera and we'll call on you one by one. Please stay on camera so I keep track of who said stuff or not. Um, and then share your thing. Please share any links in the chat or more preferred, go ahead and uh, find us at Inner City Improv Community, the uh, community group page on Facebook. So go ahead and turn on your thing. Um, I'll go ahead and say this first. Um, I'm gonna speak on behalf of uh, Nick Condon and myself. Um, we're going to be uh, doing, not this week, but the week after, um, is going to, no, wait, I can't spoil that. Yeah, uh, we're doing a show together soon, and I'm not going to say what that is. Oh, Nick is here. <laughs> you, you you don't need to spoil it. Uh, you, you can if you want to, but we can we can save it if you want. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, uh, anybody who's listening from Portland, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, solitaire together um on the 13th in portland here yeah. in this jam so definitely come watch um nick do his thing and i'm gonna be behind my laptop making music and stuff yeah and solitaire for those that uh might not know is my i would typically call it a one-man show but it's not because uh get the beautiful musical stylings of faustino uh, as the md so it is a two-person show but it's a fully improvised one-act musical and it will be amazing Speaking of musical, can I share a thing? One plus man show. Yes. Uh, I'll share another thing. I'm co-teaching a long form musical narrative class. It is a special weekend intensive with Laura Hall of all people. Uh, so I, it is very close to sold out. So there may be just like a couple of spots left, uh, but that's going to be through Curious Comedy. Uh, but it is a streaming show or a streaming uh, class, right? So you can take it online. So Laura Hall is going to be in LA. I'm going to be here in Portland and we're going to be co-teaching that class together in the end of June. And I'm going to drop this into the chat right now, I believe. And uh, check that out because it's going to be amazing. I'm super stoked to work with her. Right, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, Laura Hall is someone that I met in Bo um, with uh, Brian in Boston and uh, we've been keeping there since uh, Laura Hall, uh, in spite of also being like a celebrity for a lot of us, is she gives back to the improv community in the forms of training and being a champion for musical directors as well as other people. So please um, consider taking the workshop with both Nick and Laura Hall. Anybody else have any promotions for things? 
Michael Murkowski. Hey, thanks. Thanks uh, for um, a Stino. I'm sure a bunch of you have heard this previously, but I'm um, please I'm um, gonna check out a lot more better improv and self-expression. We do blue hue who humor jams, grounded scenes, jams, karaoke events, streaming shows. Check out a lot more better on Facebook. Also, please check out live from the asylum on I'm um, a Facebook and improvised sitcom that uh, uh, I uh, I and a bunch of other improvisers started about two weeks ago now. How it's been going great. So also please look up live from the asylum on on my Facebook. Thank you. Yeah, check out a lot of our friends from uh, inner city. Uh, now is their normal thing, which is so proud, but a lot of other access things. So go and check out the stuff at a lot uh, better improv and self-expression. Anybody else with other things to share? Me. Yes, the disembodied voice coming all the way from <laughs> Spain. Hi there, uh, my name is Lindsay and I run uh, uh, a lot of jams and shows and stuff like that. The one I'm most excited about, the one I'm doing currently only once a month, but it could be more if there's interest worldwide, is a uh, multilingual improv jam for an international audience. It is run in English and in Spanish because of the two languages I speak, but any language is welcome to come and perform and we will be having guests and stuff too. It is not broadcast, but it's a chance to watch people perform in their first, second, third, fourth, fifth language. We have some improvisers that do speak that many. It is absolutely amazing and it's once a month and once a month and that is the link there and please come and watch them be brilliant uh, you will actually understand and laugh at croatian improv i promise you yes you. yes um <laughs> yeah so some people remember or forget that english is not the only language being spoken through improv and just being here in the global pandemic has revealed that even for me i had, had no idea this was happening um so yeah so go ahead and support the bilingual jam as well as other things that are going on, not just here in North America, but everywhere else in the rest of the world. Um, uh, Don Sullivan, you posted a code in the chat on behalf of Vegas Improv. Then it's not vintage that's improv. That's right, festival. Vegas Improv. <laughs> that, that's festival a whole other thing. Yeah, we, that's our thing. Not so. in Vegas. It's vintage for, for all vegans. It's the vegan improv Vegas vintage what <laughs> vintage <laughs> improv festival. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays. It's a jam. It's been going on for quite a while. I'll just tell you what I've been doing. So the last few <laughs> weeks, we seem to be caught up. We be, we're doing a lot of character development, developing instant characters so you can jump in and you already have a backstory and a variety of other stuff. We're playing around with some of that stuff and some, some mnemonics. So that's what we're doing. Thanks. That's my time. Thank you. Uh, keep in mind that the number in the chat is not a phone number, so don't be calling that one, but uh, add that as the meeting code for uh, that specific, uh, particular Go Zoom. to your Thank Zoom. Do it yes. in your Zoom. Thank you. And then uh, for those who are posting in the chat, uh, please also post these on our community page so everybody can find the links. Um, I think that's pretty good for announcements, unless everyone's got something. Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. Yeah, uh, so this is one of the few weeks I don't actually have anything going on, but I just Today's my dad's birthday, and I haven't seen him for over a year. So I was going to say, like, happy birthday. And everyone, if anyone wants to come and join and sing the, the traditional improv birthday song. We prepare this. We've been working this all, all day for you, Dad. All right. Ready, everyone? <laughs> this is your birthday song. It's very long. Very long. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a good segue. If we've missed you, please again post uh, all links you want on the Inner City Improv community page where our uh, decade audience will follow the stuffs. Uh, and before also, no, uh, we'll do this at the very end. Um, now it's time. I'm very excited to introduce you one of our house teams that we formed. I think I think it's the point a year ago now, or I don't remember. No, it's, 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 it's getting to a year. But one of our, our non-musical house team here at Inner City Improv, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual stage. Um, yeah, welcome to the stage. This is Unicorn Kingdom. Hey, everybody. We're so excited to be here, but we need your help. And um, I don't know about you, but I've got too many measuring cups in my kitchen. I don't know why I got them, but what do you have that you've got just too many of that get in your way? Knives. Pillows. Kids. 
mugs. Oh my gosh, so many things. I pillows is the one that came to mind that I heard. <laughs> pillows. Thank you, pillows. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you pillows. Thank you, pillows. And now for the e gold medal Olympic pillow fighting match, we have Lindsay Gonzalez representing, of course, Spain and. A A A and of course Michael J. Strauskis, the uh, uh, champion from Canada, uh, and of course Laura Ty, also of Canada. Canada has two French people. Canada who are here. The final round. Yes. English speaking there we go. Canada here. There we go. Uh, 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 now, of course, all of these members fought so hard to get to this point, and well, we're just so eager to see how a gold medal is. Down, brother. Medal. Any thoughts before the match? Y'all gonna go down. We're Canadian. We may apologize, but we're definitely gonna kill. Yeah, I do hope everyone has a good time. Yeah, I'm sorry right, about it. I'm sorry let's for the Let's breathe and we slowly pan out and we bring in Alex and we're watching TV. Dad? I know yeah? I shouldn't get this close, but I love pillow fighting. I've never said that before, Dad, but. Oh, I want to dedicate my life to being a pillow fighter. Oh, thank, thank I God. Wanna... I... Yeah, yeah, son, you're you're gonna say more. I, I'm very proud of you. You know, you know, I was once a champion Canadian pillow fighter myself. Really? Is is that what's in the room that your private den you have never let me in? Yeah, that was my that was my old training. You know what? That training room could be yours. Yeah, I've never you you've I've loved this in secret. You've you've never really let me touch a pillow before. You make me sleep on a on a on a, on a, on a mattress with just a headrest. Mm hmm. Because what? pillows are for fighting. They're not. They're not. They're not for sleeping. But anyway, let's 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 tune back in for a moment. Let's turn in. Let's listen. Yeah. Unmute. You didn't oh. think I was gonna pull that dinosaur move, but I got you in the knock and knock and. <laughs> oh. Okay. And and the winner. And I the want a winner. rematch. And the winner is French-speaking Canada. Per the terms agreed, all of Canada must now speak French. That that was a the decision was fair, Dad. I think it was a fair decision, don't you think? Uh I, as much as I, I'm not a fan of the Quebecans, I think that was totally fair. Tabo Mac! Sweep, sweep, sweep! Everybody out but David. You just, you just gotta get hardened up, man. You just can't. You're too soft to, to win anything. Come on. No, I've, I've been, I've been looking for something to, 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 to practice with. But all I got is a pillow sheet. That's all I mean, a pillow case. That's all I was able to find. No, 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 no. You, you, you from inside your soul. You gotta think. You gotta think hard things. You gotta think mean things. You gotta feel it. You gotta punch things. You know, don't don't like bring everybody flowers. I mean, you brought your parents flowers for crying out loud. How are you gonna win a fight with flowers? So you're saying I should bring like I should be hitting my family and practicing on my family and not and not just practicing on the dummies that we've been using down at the dojo. I mean, don't just say, oh, excuse me, every time you throw a pillow or anything. You gotta send it with meaning and power, and you gotta feel it. You gotta get intense. I, can't, I get so emotional, though. Every time I hit you, like, here, I'm gonna take the practice practice pillow, all right? And I'm gonna hit you, and then I'm like, ah! <laughs> I mean, really, really. Oh, you, 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 you need to get the feathers if you can break it hard the feathers go the feathers go up their nose in their mouth and they choke and they die that's how you win a pillow fight let's see that swing but in slow motion 
Cut to the funeral. <laughs> we are here today to see off Danelle Maha. She was pillowed in the face, and of course, the feathers went up her nose. And, you know, that's ashes to ashes, dust to dust, feathers to feathers. Are there. Is there anybody else here who would speak on her behalf? Yes. I, I just wanted to say I've, I've known Danelle for a while, but she lives on the other side of the, lived on the other side of the bay, so I never visited. I told myself I would, but it just <laughs> hasn't. It didn't happen. Don't, don't be so hard, hard on yourself, man. Don't be so hard. I'm sure we're all, I'm sure we're, we are all wishing that we visited her right now. Alex, would you like to say something? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, one, uh, one, uh, one, t uh, one time, um, a mugger came up to me and tried to steal my backpack. And then, Danelle ran up uh, to us and, and, ju and just knocked the mugger off with a pillow. And I'm forever grateful for that. Cut to that scene! Raise you up, no, 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 that's my, that's mine. Why? How dare you mug my friend? Take that! Another emotion. Oh, oh, you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you You're in okay the now. Palm of his hand. Never forget that. Kids, you're 10 years old, and it's time you learned about pillow safety. Really? Okay. Until now, I'm, you in I'm your bed. Until now, in your bed, you've had foam pillows. Those are okay. training pillows, introductory okay. pillows. <laughs> exactly, Martha. I want from now on, from tonight on. You're sleeping with down pillows. Down I only, pillows. Had, I only had a pillow case. Okay. Ready for Am down I pillows? To have a pillow in here? I'll get you one. But down, down pillows? pillows? There's a lot of rules about down pillows. You don't just start sleeping on a down pillow. You gotta First understand. First, you have to pluck the goose. This. What? First, you gotta pluck the goose. Exactly. You've got to pluck the goose. You can buy pre-plucked. Pre, pre oh my goodness. Careful, I'm Dad! So oh my I'm, God, Dad! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you almost over. I that? can't believe you said that. That's a naughty word. Do not. Do not <laughs> say these things when the children are trying to sleep. Well, it's not bedtime yet, but... Getting there. An Italian Dad! funeral. It's a swearing okay. poltergeist. Yes. Lindsay and Lara. Well, all right, uh, Miss Donnell, you could take that off. Um, listen, I, I worked on these tips with you to get your daughters to sleep and uh, to improve your bedtime routine. But um, I'm Thank sorry, Donnell, that Donnell, as an expert, that absolutely didn't work. No, that was. I, no, no. I, I thought it would work. Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're yeah, absolutely yeah. right. And the fact and that you set all those traps up next to you to sort of make those noise. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that it would make them hide underneath their blankets and they would just pretend they're asleep and then eventually fall asleep. But Yeah. I, I think they can hear us. Tag out, everybody. Bring back. We now take you to the locker room of the pillow Olympic pl pillow <laughs> champions. <laughs> I swear that was like so below the belt. I I don't know if I could do one of these more fights. I mean, I, I know it's good money for us all, but jeez, 
Jeez. You know, I'm glad we're allowed to speak English in the locker room. Yeah. Exactly. You can't you can't make us speak French here. I'm yeah. really ashamed that I lost for America and now uh we have to speak French all the way down to Pennsylvania. Exactly. I can't even say Garcon properly. <laughs> it's Garcon. That's right. That's what I said. Garcon. I thought, I thought it was Gar Garcon. Like it a pickle. Means boy. That's and right. I don't understand it's like why a you call a waiter boy, but if it's a C sound, why does it make an S? No, no it's a yes, cedilla. Right. Use your word. Little... Use your word. You know what? You're a cedilla. Oh. That's right. Oh, save it for out there. Come on. Yeah. Check out I'm this thinking... circumflex. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a bit cool. Yeah. That needed some beta carotene. Look at that. Who did a smoothie this morning? Oh, that's all natty. <laughs> that's natty shred, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need to have a strike. We need to have a revolt. We're not getting paid enough, and I heard that the agency is going to take and dock our pay. Oh, I, I don't. I maybe this is not the time to tell you guys this, but I got paid ten percent more than you to lose that one. You did? Well, yeah. you took a dive. This is supposed to be a solidarity. How could you take so much money? You lowballed us. It was it was two to one, so it was it would have been really weird if I won. Like it would have been like a little bit too pro America if I won. You know? Right. Right, right, right. You right. know, the U.S. Uh, does so, uh, have We history. cut to the, we skip to the pillow strike. Pillow strike! No pillow more strike. bites! Pillow pillow strike. Strike. Pillow you can't strike. take our pillow, pillow We can't take our pillow. Pillows. Down all right, down. all right, all right. Down. We've had quite okay. enough of this. We need you all to get back out there and start swatting at each other with, like, a, 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 uh, down and throw and all the other pillows. We heard no. from, a, from a reliable source that you underpaid somebody and you overpaid the uh, rest of our players. We are not going to get back onto that field until we all equally get paid. All right, let's quickly cut to what the, they've replaced all the players with scabs, and all the scabs are now using playing their. And bring out all the scabs. Um. I don't know if I'm supposed to hit you in the head or in the in in on like the hips. Oh, uh, you you're not supposed to get my right eye. I got a weak right eye. Just don't okay. do that. Okay, okay. Please okay. Zoom out to see people watching this on TV. They're just talking about what they're supposed to be doing. They're literally reading the script. Yeah. This is so I... not worth my like my seven ninety nine. I'm telling you, I wasted my money. Yeah, this is the worst pay-per-view. Oh my god! Honestly, I mean, I, 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 I can't even. I can't even. I'm telling you, it's like they they sweat and they just sweat, but they haven't done anything. Let's listen in. See if it got any better. Okay. Click. Thanks for losing using that organic pillow. That's great because my allergies. No, turn, it off, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. It didn't get better. It didn't get better. It, it didn't, didn't get, get better. better. Oh. No. I mean, the other players had such passion, and these people just look like, you know, people, bananas without the shell. I'm telling I you. Know. Ooh. I don't know. Can we switch over? Comparison. I don't know. Can we switch over to curling? Curling. Okay. Curling. Let's, change to, let's switch to curling. The All right. Welcome to the International Curling Championships in a frozen lake in the middle of northern Scotland. We've got some fierce competitors here today to swabble and swab the ice. Let's see her throwing to the center of the circle. Oh, for a second, I thought we switched to hurling. Okay. Oh my God. Who's that away? What do you think? This is Ireland. We're curling, not hurling. You can hurl if you want to. If you want to chunder, go over there, vomit. Oh my God, that. is the TV oh talking God. to you? TV host Irish heard me. So hot. Irish players are so hot. Oh my gosh. Look I just need to clarify. All right, let's switch to uh, ESPN Ocho, the new game. Go. <laughs> Girlin. Hello, to welcome to the Girlin Bats. We're going to dance our way through. Hey, 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 that's a girl. I think I won. That's all I had. Girlin. Oh, chica bailando. La chica está bailando, 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 y girando, girando, se girando, se y bailando, se y tapando sus fingers. En también está tocando su guitarra y bailando, bailando, se y el hombre está muy emocionante, pero muy emocionante. Está ahogando. Está en punto de morirse. Oh, madre mía. No. Last 
bring you back to the Scottish curling. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to clarify, I'm going to say a word that doesn't mean that we actually do it, but in the game, go, sweep! Don't move, though. Sweep! Ooh. Don't move, yeah, though. You can yell sweep if you want to. If it helps you, you do what you need to do. Okay. Sweep! Sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh, sweep. Alex. Oh, that kind of sweep. Sweep. <laughs> Alex. Oh. Father? I'm sorry, I've returned. Yes. I, I was training. I wasn't successful in becoming a master pillow fighter. I failed. Wait, I failed. what? I failed. I didn't do it. I. What I said? How the, I sent you to my old master, Master Donnell. <laughs> uh, I just, I just had to come over here. I need you to do something about your son. He's been at the airport with his. Pillow full of drugs, and wait, uh, wait. he's a hardened criminal now. We got him. Wait, what? Yep. What? What? He's <laughs> been he's been transporting drugs in these pillows. My son, I the mobsters I, came and offered me a deal to be a drug mule. Oh my god, this is so. You said this is true? Yeah, I'm gonna take him away. So, son, David. Pills are for fighting, not for smuggling. <laughs> they threatened me with one. They put cans of coke inside of a pillowcase and they were swinging it around. And they were... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what did I do? What did I do wrong? <laughs> he does seem to be a bit sorry. You do seem a bit repentant, son. Okay, have... yes, uh, 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 let me know. I, uh, does my son have to go to jail? He seems so sad. I tell you what, you just hand over those drugs and we'll call it, we'll call it even. Just give wait, me wait, 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 he still has them? Uh, <laughs> he's yeah. got a whole attic full if you go check your Tag attic. Tag out Alex and David, leave Donnell. So uh, you're seeing that you let him keep the contraband and you did not uh, retrouve the contraband with the criminal? No, 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 I let him keep all of it, I really did. I'm afraid we're going to have to fire you from Interpol because you are garbage at your job. Uh... Oh no, I am not garbage. I am not garbage, I am not. You are just mediocre, no? I am an expert, I'm expert garbage is out here. I am not mediocre, I am superior. Okay, on what grounds? You had a minor coke smuggler? I mean, granted they were only from Atlanta, the cans of coke, instead of Colombia, the powdered variety, but you still <laughs> let the boy go with no charges? He was a little boy, he was a little boy. He gave me the drugs so I could inspect, I mean, what you do? He you don't sorry. think the international court could have tried a 17-year-old as an adult? Because we've done worse. <laughs> You're unreasonable. You're unreasonable. I'm very irrationable, we just say. Rotenable, my foot You're on suspension. <laughs> oh, I'm sending you to that boy. I'm San Diego. That. You're not coming oh. back until you find her. You will never oh. come back. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, what do you think of my new up pillow? I like it. I like it. I don't know what up is, but I love the marketing potential. Well, it's not down. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want a pillow filled with down, so I got a pillow filled with up. Right, right. And some people are allergic to down. Uh, how about yeah. up? It's not down. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's the point. Oh, we're done then. It's not down. No, I mean as a slogan, like an actual slogan, you know, on Twitter and then uh, posters at Target. Yeah, I know what the slogan is. Cut to the pitch meeting for marketing with these two guys. <laughs> so, you're saying it's, where's the inventor? Come on. You're saying, uh, you're saying you gotta, gotta get up to get down. That, that's you know, your cigarettes ideas. sound like another one. Look, all I care about this is that it's marketed by someone who's not a fascist. And if this is a pillow that America rested to e head on easily, I'll get behind it. Oh, America uh, at this time needs something tried and true, dependable, something that they can 
like you said, rest their heads on. And Michael, you sure you don't want a cigarette? Uh, I'm pretty oh, sure oh, I don't. Uh, uh, it, you got plenty. I've heard I it's bad I, for me. I want to talk to the inventor. Yeah, Where's yeah. Where's the mind inventor, behind this Get pillow? in here. Yeah, what's up with the inventor? Sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, Thank sorry. You. I'm, I'm a, uh, uh, late. late. I had to pick up well, some you cigarettes. Know what? You see if he's going to smoke, I'm going to smoke. I'll take one. That's more like it. Nothing is as good for fine, soft furnishings as a nice, healthy cloud of smoke. Absolutely. That's how you keep the <coughs> oh, mic. God, away. that's a lung. It's fine. I'll just put it in my pocket. Got two. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, pillows on the up and up. Not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. I, well, like, I like not bad. I know that was feedback, but I like it. Yes. Not how bad. About, yeah. How about up pillows? Get an up pillow to get up in the morning. Nice. How about oh, how about this? Go down easy, get up hard. What do you think? Mm. Oh. How about fluff it up with up? How about to, it's just better to be up than down? I, I don't mean to scare everybody, but I just was smoking by one of the pillows, and it is now an inferno of flames. You you, you might want to get some sweep on that. <laughs> Sheets are the future. <laughs> oh, jeez, no. Yeah, 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 honey, I'm right behind you. Sheets are the future. That's Thank right. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sc right? screw those pillows. Sheets are where it's at. Pillows are just mm -hmm. for your head. <laughs> this exactly. is look like Mary. <laughs> no, it is fun, honey. It is fun. <laughs> oh, this, this was is great. Hey, you guys, uh, let's be like a Renaissance painting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fun. That is fun. More fun than pillows. <laughs> I'm getting a cramp. I'm getting a cramp. I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> All right, sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> I don't know about those guys. I just sleep right on the on the mattress. Don't need a sheet. Don't need a pillow. Don't need a blanket. Don't need a comforter. Don't need a duvet. Don't need a one of those frilly things at the bottom. How do you do it? Get tired. Of it. You go to sleep. How do you survive like that? <laughs> I, I, I don't need much. It's sleep comes over me, and I need to go to sleep, and I do. Wait a second! Sleep comes over you. You don't need drugs or some sort of husband to knock you out at night. <laughs> uh, cut everyone but David. Hey, uh, I'm sleep. I'm here to take care of business. <laughs> so <laughs> God, God, I was ready. I was ready. Boom. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, David. Good, Good night, night, David. Good night, David. Good night, David. Good night, David. Good night, David. That's our show. Take a little talk, a little, take a little talk, a little cheap, cheap, cheap. Take a little talk, a little, take a little talk, a little but also lift up spirits from watching that set. So thank you, everybody, um, and Unicorn Kingdom for uh, performing tonight. And also, as well as um, give it up for everybody here who helped make uh, tonight possible. As far as um, if you're volunteered this evening, go ahead and come up on screen, and we'd like to acknowledge you. Say hello. Thank you so much for helping run the jam this evening. we got Nelson, we got Brian, we got Laura, we have other people. Yeah, yeah, this is your, uh, this is our, uh, the crew that helped out this evening. If you'd like to volunteer uh, for things, um, I know we've had a uh, few uh, volumes. Ah, uh, 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 all right. That's actually that would have been a really good uh, transition to the line game. So hold on that image. Um, but yeah, if you like to volunteer with Inner City Improv, um, please message us. Um, I did get some. 
I know lately uh, we're looking for some help specifically for toast and jam. I've just schools me crazy. So I'll respond to those who had mentioned for that. Otherwise, yeah, uh, we're looking to um, maintain the community. Actually, might be hearing from us very soon as far as helping us where what direction we're going in. So uh, speaking of directions, I want to give a uh, shout out to our headliner for next week before we play our line game. So drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, our headliner for next week will be this group. It is Odell and De De Jong. De Jong. All right, Nicole Odell and Chris De, uh, De Jong explore the inner lives of characters on stage, improvising performances that combine comedy with emotional truth. Isn't that all we want? We just want to be emotionally truthful and comedy combinement. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Well, no, no, not whatever. Please support them from San Francisco, California. Just don't mind me making. I can't speak. All right, uh, which is, brings me to this one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end with our traditional line game, which is this one uh, based off, oh God, actually, um, I would like uh, any one person to jump up on the screen and right now, because I can't decide what line game we're doing. Looks like Michael Burkowski beat it. Sorry, Lindsay. Um, I, I thought I had to take the bullet. <laughs> I have a line game about uh, French, uh, that's inspired by French Canada on one hand. And I have a line game inspired by uh, the Renaissance portraits in another. I missed Look. I missed what that second one is, but let's go with that. Oh, oh gosh, we're going to do a line game based off of the scene with the uh, Renaissance. <laughs> Good grief. I need uh, this. How do you solve a problem like the dang dum? All right. Oh, gosh. that That's probably better than the one that I just came up with. So we're going to play a line game called How Do You Solve a Problem Like... Uh, the blank, because uh, everybody looks like they belong in the sound of music, apparently. Uh, I need that photo, please. Uh, well, you can also watch our live streams as well as, uh, I also want to give a shout out to Alex Lee for producing all of our YouTube videos after this time was gone. So give it up for Alex for doing that for us. Alex! Hooray! You can find that photo on YouTube now, apparently. Hooray! Good thing we didn't sign waivers. So, uh, how do you solve a problem like blank? Um, what's going to happen is, uh, you're, you're going to sing the line of the suggestion, and then you're going to solve uh, the uh, the problem yourself in song. So it starts off with, how do you solve a problem like bananas? Yeah. You uh, split them in half and throw them away. Oh, gosh. That sounds terrible. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, we're going with that one because that was way better than my first idea. So uh, to get started, it's not a banana. It's not even a food. What is an inedible object? A wax fruit. Wax, wax <laughs> how do you solve a problem like wax fruits and if you have uh if you have a pun for this one go ahead and come up on screen i'll call you one on one one by one <laughs> david shapiro how do you solve a problem like the wax fruit how do you solve a problem like bite marks in the apple <laughs> no <laughs> good dream <laughs> there it is the link of the images in there danelle <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a wax fruit? You can it. <laughs> oh, God. Can't yeah, hit. All right. Brian Subby. How do you solve a problem like a wax fruit? You wax on and wax off. <laughs> wax on and wax off. Oh, gosh. Waxing fruit sounds fantastic. Um, I guess we're going to do it. Um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and transition to uh, that. That quote was made famous by the Karate Kid. Uh, what I cannot believe we're doing this, but uh, what's a well-known movie that you know that most other people, like myself, the millennial, also knows that movie? Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> we're, we're going with Shrek. Uh, thank you, Don, for showing us that wonderful picture from a movie. Um, we're going to go with um, Shrek. How do you solve a problem like the Shrek, dude? Or however you want to say it. Um, don't, I, I guess I'll go first then since no one's jumped up. Um, how do you solve a problem like the Shrek, dude? Forget it, donkey! Anybody got a Shrek? <laughs> how do you solve a problem like the Shrek, dude? You don't, because... Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. <laughs> hey, now. hey, you don't solve anything. You are just a beautiful person. Speaking of beautiful people, Alex Lee. Sorry, Danelle. 
Okay. How do you solve a problem like the Shrek dude? You just treat him like an onion. <laughs> and peel him. I don't even, oh god, I don't know if that's a movie reference. Uh, Danelle. How do you solve a problem like the Shrek dude? You don't, you go to the next suggestion. Oh <laughs> gosh, okay, well, since Danelle looks like she's the, uh, what was it, the Grinch? We're gonna go uh, with the Grinch, apparently. Um, or Oscar the Grouch. Um, let's do hand puppets as a suggestion. Oh gosh, how do you solve a problem like a puppet? Stick your hand inside and wave back at it. Lindsay, what do you got? How do you solve a problem like a puppet? Sit him down and tell him how you felt. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not going to talk that out, Lindsay. Thanks. All right, okay. All right. Is anybody, has anybody got one for puppets? <laughs> Going once. Oh my gosh! What, how do you solve a problem with the puppets? You keep your mouth shut or he goes on and on and on. <laughs> oh my God. On and on. Oh my God, Brian Subby. How do you solve a problem puppet like a head or like a, pu a pu problem like a head? <laughs> you go to the farm and ask a hen, son. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, Don Sloman from New York. Oh, you saw the puppet. How do you solve a problem like a bad puppet? Suck it to me. Oh, I was gonna do that. <laughs> I haven't took off your sock. Oh gosh! Uh, <laughs> no, put that away. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a puppet? If you sock it to it, you better be marrying it. Oh! oh. Hey. This is the How adult you solve show. a problem like a puppet? You say howdy doody. Oh, <laughs> oh. All right. Um, as a, we're gonna find, we're gonna use this last one. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Puppet on Alex's hand. What to give a suggestion of anything at all? Uh, oh. oh. Come on, puppet. Uh, jacket. I don't know. <laughs> what? Do you, all right. Well, the puppet saith, the puppet taketh away. Um, <laughs> uh, how do you solve a problem like a jacket? And what do you got? So let's find it at, out. Lindsay. How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You don't solve it, you just cover it up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You coat it with love. Oh, no. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You treat it equally with a gillet. Get <laughs> uh, <laughs> it? It's a story. It's a story. Michael Rakowski. How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You tell it to zip it. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You create your own club and then you make it members only. Uh, <laughs> is that a club? Okay, it's a well. variety of jacket from the 80s and 90s. Uh, so, Lindsay. How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You call Peter Paca because I got Peter's pictures of the Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jonah. That, that's uh, a way over for me. Uh, Don Slovin. How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You take it to court and suit it. Oh. oh. <laughs> and that's it. We're going to call it. Sorry, Donnell. That has been how do you solve a Oh, no. Donnell's got that eyeballs. Uh, let, let's hear it. No, no, Siri. No, Alexa. <laughs> All right. Uh, Donnell, what he got? <laughs> How do you solve a problem like a jacket? You paint it blue so it's not a yellow one. <laughs> yellow it's a, it's a spot. It's a spot. I, I understand these references. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been 
Uh, how do you solve a problem like a blank? Thank you so much for participating. Everyone come on screen. Give, give it up for yourselves for participating tonight. It's super sticking out for this far. And uh, wish you're here with us for those watching at home. Well, you can. Um, the link for all of our events is the same uh, because of things. Um, thank you so much for playing this evening. Thank you, everybody who is on your corner kingdom, all the volunteers, Michael, uh, Michael, Olivier. Uh, come back next week with for, uh, Odell and De Young and um, all the fun stuff. Before we head off screen, uh, go ahead and everyone give a pose for a picture, which I'd rather somebody else do it. Um, a photo in five, four, three, two, one, and. I took some. All right. Uh, I got it. Uh, stick around for our wet board and all the hanging outs. Um, and, and as always, uh, if y'all want to fist it out with me, uh, I'm going to recant that. What? No, no, I didn't say what? that. What? Uh, no, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you just follow what I do. Not as I say, ladies and gentlemen, this is what? the Inter City Lock Board.